Alright, so let's get off of here nice and peacefully. There we go. So what's up? Spooky ghosty. Spooky ghosty. Not spooky enough. Alright, so we have some notes in this little grass maze here. The only thing you'll really want to go for, ah, oh crap, I missed it, is the notes, the items you don't really need, simply for the reason that there is uh, the room that I showed earlier. When you jump through the window, there's like a bunch of eggs and feathers, so there really is no reason to get all those items, eggs, feathers, in this maze. It's just time consuming, and if you're actually patient, then all the power to you, but. I'm not pursuing them. All right, and as you can see, there was a mumbo token over there, and there's actually a pathway up. We will not be going there just yet. Later, but not just yet. So that pretty much does it for the graveyard. Next up, we have on top of the mansion. Open some windows. You're going to make sure all the windows on the top floor are open. You'll see why later. Can't get there because, you know, we're too big. So moving on. But yes, as I was saying, you're going to want to make sure that these top windows are open. Doesn't matter what ones. If you can memorize them, great. If you can't, then like I said, just open them all. This is when your mumbo transformation, you can... Okay, this was a special room. As the mumbo transformation, you can't... Um, you can't open them. Because you only want one with the... The, 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 the crap, that bat almost hit me. Alright, it's leaving us alone. The only uh, mumbo transformation that had an attack of some sort or a way of defending itself was in Bubble Gloop Swamp and it was the alligator. Other than that you're not going to transform into anything else that has an attack in this game. Which is kind of unfortunate but when you think about it there really is no way that these other transformations can really protect themselves or use an attack of some sort. The walrus, maybe. The walrus, you can use, like, your teeth or something. Uh, the termite, yeah. You can't really do anything. Other than get stepped on. Alright, get some notes. Any notes over here? Yep. One hidden in the corner. One note right here, another one over here. Oh, come on. Spring jump shock pad thingy away. Over there is a sleeping ghost called Napper. You can poke him in the fire. This is why it is set up like this, the chairs. If you step on the floor, it will automatically wake him up. And you will not be able to get this jiggy. Of course, when you leave and come back, you can get it, but you need to approach from the chimney. Should be mad now it's gone. Yes, I'm mad, my boot. I'll put up your useless spooky butt. That's not really a rhyme. Put and butt, not really. Spelled the same way, but not exactly rhyming. But now you can stop on the floor since it doesn't matter that he's gone. Up on the top of the chandelier, that's why there's a um, uh, flight pad. There's an extra life. Not going for it. And I know I said before that the only flying that you do is in the church. Yes, there's a flying pad there, but you don't need to do it. If you're 100%ing it, you don't need it. You don't need the extra life. So... 
without further ado, let us... What behind you? Oh, it's a feather. We have some notes. Nothing behind this chair. Oh, gonna get up. Let's see, isn't there like... There's nothing in here? Oh, feather. Uh, don't need it. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, gotta press X. And we are... A pumpkin. Ah, uh, Mumbo, proud of pumpkin spell, make good soup. And now we'll awkwardly walk away, or hop away. So, now that we're a pumpkin, let us do pumpkin things. Get some Ecom Vulcan first. You don't want to step on the thorn part, you just want to walk on this pathway. Come up here, jump through the window. And now we're able to get the extra honeycomb piece. I believe there's two gold feathers along with the honeycomb piece, but I'm already full on feathers, so there's really no point. And I don't think there's anything in there. In here, is there? Oh yes, there is, the toilet. Happy landings, little one. No. You have a jiggy in here, a couple gold feathers, you just gotta time your approach right because those things will come out from the holes and attack you. I can't believe you went in there. Now, oh, I went in by accident. Gross. And she's just gonna say, now wash your hands, you filthy bear. Nothing really important. So we come in here. You don't want to move. You want to land straight down. You don't want to move the analog stick because then it will change your traje trajectory of falling. And you'll miss the jiggy and have to get up there all over again. So that's why I'd rather just go straight down. Now normally you can approach the well from up top. There's actually a way down here. It's actually easier if you're a pumpkin since you don't need to breathe. I don't get how these physics work exactly, but hell, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Get some Ecom Bokum, get some notes, we have a hundred now, ow! hundred notes, ten jiggies, let's leave. Oh, he can't bow. Well, I bounce to you then. I bounce to all of you. Hop, you little bastard, hop! Alright then, now, when you leave the world as a pumpkin, you're going to want to do it as a pumpkin. That's why I did all the stuff as Banjo first, and saved all the pumpkin stuff for last. Makes it a lot quicker. Okay, get away. Get away from me. You can only fit through here as a pumpkin. And there's actually an extra life behind this little church area, so if you want to get it, all the power to you. You don't need any mumbo tokens for this. Because it does the same thing as it does in Mad Monster Mansion. Transforms you into Banjo and a pumpkin. Break this open. Push this down. The level rises. Probably should have saved the feather for after I killed him, but I don't care. I keep pressing B, and you have to press X to transform. I, it's bad habit of mine. Bad, bad habit. Pumpkin making Mumbo hungry. Me get pot ready. Okay, once again, Mumbo says something really awkward. So I'm just going to leave the awkward atmosphere. Hop up this hill. When I'm nice and slim once more, burgers, fries, and chips galore. Okay, but then, if, then if, you know, like, you do do the body transformation thing with Tootie, then she'll be skinnier than you again, and then you'll just have to uh, switch back, and she'll just be fat, and you'll be fat, too, so, you know, you're, Grunty, you don't think through, you really don't. 
which I know you guys haven't seen the game over screen yet. I'm not planning on showing it anytime soon, but I do plan on showing it. Not a lot of games have unique game over screens, but you know, I'll show it to you guys. And over here, you can only access as a pumpkin. Cheeto, bear, and bird have found once more another spell they get. One more page, I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn. Nasty witch is so code I shall tell. Enter red feathers on sandcastle floor in treasure trove cove. And we get some gold feathers. Thank you, Cheeto. But yes, you can only access this place as a pumpkin, which is why they make it very uh not easy. It's not difficult, but it's not easy. They make a difficult pathway here, which can be traversed easily by just jumping over things. So after you pass a certain point, I think it's on this little, yep. And we transform back. Voila. Alright, so now this place is actually underwater since we raised the level. Which, you know, it isn't a bad thing, but... It's something to take note of before you enter. You want to climb up here. Let's come up here. This place is closed off. Let's hop. 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 And I know it's not that much of a shortcut, but I guess it does help in some way, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you're gonna want to like be behind it, not toward the water, because I ended up falling in the water once. It was not fun. I had to climb up again, and it was just annoying. Gold feather back there. Now we gotta hop our way over to the puzzle area. All right. Now that pathway is straightforward. It's gonna lead you into the room where you can open Mad Monster Mansion. It's going to be a uh, closed gate in front of it, though, in front of the tunnel. So there's really no point in going down there. Oh. <sighs> Why did I do that? And now, the puzzle to Rusty Bucket Bay is solved. We can now go in. <sighs> I've been dreading this level for a long time now. This is, and I'm pretty sure it is this goes for everybody else who has ever played this game this is my least favorite level the music isn't too bad the level design is horrible and the overall difficulty is stupidly hard where they put like freaking notes and jiggies and it's just bad it's badness so next time in Banjo Kazooie We'll be taking on my least favorite level in the game. See you guys then.